Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Tailgate, the Crazy 8 Racer number 88 from Cars 3. Before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. Here we have her artwork from Cars 3, the red desert background and the Cars logo, her name is saying Tailgate, the die cast sealed in, the metal logo, the Mattel logo, and on the back we have, as seen in, the Cars 3 logo, and the cars featured are Jet Robinson, who I unfortunately don't have, Rich Mixon, Pushover, who I unfortunately don't have. Um, what's the name I forget? Tell me who it is in the comments down below. Ryan Inside Laney, Paul Conrad, and the fabulous Hudson Hornet. Or should I say, Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet. The RSN Network saying RSN, Racing Sports Network. 2022 Mattel, made in Thailand, Mattel logo, empowering the next generation through play, Disney slash Pixar, Hudson Hornet, which is copyrighted, www.disney.com slash cars. And that is it. And now without any further ado, let's dig start let's dig right into the unboxing here we have tailgate all opened up and out of the package tailgate is a capital motors tpas who race who is bears the number 88 eight for the greasy grill bbq and competes in the Crazy 8 Demolition Derby races at Thunder Hollow. During her appearance in Cars 3, she was one of the racers to participate in the Crazy 8 Demolition Derby race of 2017 at Thunder Hollow Speedway of whom Lightning McQueen, alias Chester Whipplefilter, and Francis Beltline, alias Cruz Ramirez, mis must, mistakenly must, compete against. And during the race, she got hit by liability, causing both of them to spun out, and right after that, Cruz had won. And during her diecast releases, she was released as a single, as singles, and in a two pack with Pushover, who I unfortunately don't have. And now, without any fur... Oh, and I also forgot to mention, I also got her at a Walmart store last night with... Rodette Marker, who I will record tomorrow. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got her light pink exterior paintwork, her nervous facial expression, her headlights and grill, which are all covered. And on the hood, we've got the a thing that takes in the air to her engine. I don't know what it is. Tell me what it is in the comments down below. 
and her white stripes from top to bottom. And on both sides we got her black wall black rims and black wall tires, half white and half black on each on each one of them. And her door, which is red, and a white number eighty eight on the black background. And the words the greasy grill BBQ in black, which they sponsor tail which it sponsors tailgate. And on the top we've got the pink background and white stripes and a white number eighty eight on the black background. And on the trunk we have pink background with white stripes and the the greasy grill BBQ in black. And on both so and on the back we have pink background and white stripes and the words bring the pain in, in black which is telling other racers to bring out the pain I think tell me what you tell me your thoughts about the line bring the pain in the comments down below so anyhow on the undercarriage we have Disney slash Pixar Made in Thailand, Mattel. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other Capital Motors vehicles. We have Charlie Checker, Winford Bradford Rutherford, Cal Weathers, and Marlon Clutches McKay. And some more Crazy 8 Racers, we have APB, T-Bone, Liability, Fishtail, Patty, Fair Game, okay, I remember who, I remember the name now, no need to tell me in the comments down below. Bill, Dr. Damage, Taco, Lightning McQueen as Chester Whipplefilter, Chester Whipplefilter, aka Lightning McQueen, and Francis Beltline, aka Cruiser Ramirez. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which Capital Motors vehicle is your favorite? And which Crazy 8 racer is your favorite as well? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!